Yo, what's good creatives? Welcome back to my channel. Today we're talking about eight ways to make Instagram reels or TikTok videos, just giving you some ideas and things you can do. Whether you're just getting started making Instagram reels and TikTok videos, or you've been making them, I think a couple of these may spark your interest and give you some cool ideas that you can even play off. First of all, what do you make in vertical content about? Is it personal stuff? Is it entertaining stuff? Or is it something for your business, for your consumers, or to bring buyers in? Or is it value content, helping somebody do something that you're professional or or, uh, seasoned at. I think that's the first thing that you need to understand what you're making content about. Some people do it all, like me. I make personal stuff. I make value content, education, and some entertaining, inspirational stuff. Or you could just dial in on one specific thing, whether it's business or personal or value, and just knock those same things out over and over again with good consistency. As a content creator, here in 2023, going into 2024, a lot of content made by creators is about ourselves and what we do for a living. Personal stuff like our daily routine, or just inspiring workflows. So that's just something that you gotta keep in mind and decide on when you're starting to make Instagram Reels and TikTok videos. All right, let's get into the eight ways that you can make vertical content. Number one, you can just use your iPhone and shoot raw footage. Whether you collect a bunch of iPhone footage of different moments in time and you put them all together, or you can use your iPhone to shoot behind the scenes one long clip of whatever it is you're doing or whatever it is you're working on. Very simple, just like my guy right here, Ben Johnson. He's another YouTuber, but he's been killing it with these one take iPhone videos. Making Instagram Reels and TikTok videos with your iPhone is the easiest because you always keep your iPhone right on you. Number two, you can shoot vlog style videos. Just take your camera out with you for the day, rotate it so it's vertical, and then just log your day. Whatever moments you have or whatever work you're working on, stop and talk to your camera, tell them what you're up to, and then maybe show a few clips and piece that all together in a vertical video. And now you got a vlog style Instagram Reel or TikTok video for that week, or you can do them daily. It's up to you. Depends on how much growth you want. Number three, you can make voiceover content over top of footage. Now, I personally think this is the easiest one for anybody that's shy to talk on camera and vlog. All you gotta do is take your camera with you throughout the day, rotate it so your footage fits perfect on an Instagram reel or TikTok video when you go to edit, and then just film different moments. You can film slow-mo shots, you can film close-up shots, and then you just piece them all together with some music and then talk over it and tell your story. You can tell the good story, you can tell the bad story, you can tell the moments, whatever little things that you did in that day, or you could just make it an inspirational piece and just give some words of advice or, you know, motivation. The voiceover technique is the easiest and best, in my opinion, for anybody that may be scared to uh, pick their camera up and talk, especially in public in front of people. Number four, take footage and add some sick music behind it and you got a nice Instagram reel or TikTok video. Now you could take old footage that you've shot over the past few years or the past few weeks and put it together to some cool new music that's trending, or you could take footage that you just shot today, put it all together, it doesn't really matter. It's as simple as taking your camera with you for the day, like we talked about earlier, and just adding some cool music music to it and cutting it to the beat. Why not? Just tell a story through your visuals and have the music kind of lead people through the story. Another very easy way to make clever Instagram Reels and TikTok videos is using Filmora 13. Filmora 13 is an incredibly easy to use video editing software designed for any content creator at any skill level. It has so many features to help you work smarter, not harder. Features like AI co-pilot editing, which analyzes your video and it gives you recommendations tailored to your needs. AI text-based editing so you can transform your video into text and then you can edit the video based on the text lines which is crazy to me AI thumbnail creator where you go through your video and you find a good screenshot and then AI does the rest it helps you make a click worthy thumbnail for your videos you can even use this feature for your Instagram real thumbnails on your Instagram feed my personal favorite features are the AI Smart Cutout and AI Image, which I used to easily make this clip right here. All I did was import my clip, used AI Image to generate this really cool cyberpunk image, opened up AI Smart Cutout, used the pen tool to roughly trace over the part I wanted to cut out. I tracked the whole clip with one click and boom, this is crazy. They've got game changing AI features to help you make vertical content in the easiest way possible, no matter what skill level you're at. So check out the link in my bio and download Filmora 13 right now. I I highly recommend it if you want to make your life easier. Five, showcase your photography with some music. If you're a photographer, this will be the one. You can either go through all your photos and curate some of your favorites and line it up together with music, or you can theme it out and just take photos from a specific photo shoot and put it together with some music behind it and just showcase your photography. People need to see your work and it's aesthetically pleasing to the eye. It just looks good if you got good photography skills and then the music kind of carries you through checking them out. People might run it back like, wow, that was a good photo. Very simple concept, but there's 
so many different ways that you can showcase your photography through different templates and frames and different ways that you display the pictures. It's just a good idea. Six, you can do a before and after of your work. Again, another simple concept, whether you shoot photography or you shoot music videos or any type of videography, you can simply take a behind the scenes video or photo of you shooting a specific project. And then following that, you can show exactly what it looked like through your eyes, through your camera and after you edit it. A before and after is always cool because people are waiting to see exactly what you're doing. You're showing them that you're doing something and they're waiting for that boom, that hit to see exactly what it is you're doing. People are always curious and interested when they see somebody doing something that looks cool. Seven, you can make tutorials if you're skilled in one area. So me personally, I shoot music videos and I also am a content creator for brands. I can make tutorials on so many different things that I do on a daily basis with my editing or my shooting or my lighting. There's so many different tutorials that I can make. It's just insanity. I could even take my phone right now and just film what's going on right here and tell you how I shoot my YouTube videos. That's a vertical piece right there. Eight, you can remix all of these. You could easily take shots from your iPhone, from your camera, B-roll clips, blog clips, tutorial style clips, and you can mesh a bunch of different stuff into one one minute vertical piece of content. And even on TikTok, I think you can do longer than one minute. But the point is you could take stuff that you've shot on your iPhone, on your camera, any type of video, any type of photo. You can mix all these things together with music, with talking. You can mesh it all together to make your own creative, unique pieces of vertical content. And I highly encourage you to start making vertical content because that's where the organic growth is nowadays. So that's just eight ideas that you could play off for Instagram Reels and TikTok videos just to get you started, maybe to motivate you, inspire you on how simple it is to just get started and make some vertical content for yourself. I hope that you got something out of this and I hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, slap that like button for me right down there and then drop me a comment or all of us a comment if you have any other ideas of cool, unique ways to make vertical content. Once again, thanks Fillmore13 for sponsoring this video. Click that link down below to download their editing software today and I'll see you in the next video. Peace out.